All right, I've got June's knife of the month from Barrel and Blade. If you watched last month's unboxing, that was a pretty weird knife. So I'm hoping we got something a little bit better this month. Uh, let's pop open this envelope and see what came. What's up guys, Eric here from At Home of the Future and I'm back with another Barrel and Blade Knife of the Month unboxing. Always an interesting package to get. We've had a huge range of knives in this. Big knives, small knives, like sword style knives. Um, kind of crazy, but if you're into knives, you're gonna be really into this sub. Uh, really inexpensive too, 99 bucks a month, uh, but you always get a knife that's worth a whole lot more than that. If you wanna get the subscription for yourself, be sure to follow the link on the screen or down in the description to save yourself some money. Uh, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, May was kind of, de of a divisive month for this. Uh, pretty much everybody I saw who opened up their May boxes were kind of like, what is this? Is it kind of a strange knife from Mantis? So I'm curious to see uh, what we have this month um, to kind of come back from that. So this looks like a Domino's pizza box <laughs> for some reason. Uh, Condor, okay, so this should be interesting. So the Condor Pandor with the MSRP of 151.61. Looks like we have 1075 high carbon steel. A fixed blade here, the handle is paper micarta. That's interesting. We have a Kydex sheath. It says it takes design elements from a traditional 18th century knife. Okay, it says designed by inspiration from the Pandors, a group of free light infantry military units used by the Kingdom of Hungary from 1741. All right, pretty interesting here. So this may be kind of a historical kind of knife. Uh, so the sheath, I think, did it say Kydex up here? Yeah, Kydex with a leather belt loop. Interesting, oh, that doesn't feel very leathery to me. It feels leather textured. Okay, and here is our knife. Okay, this is interesting. Actually, yeah, get my other knife to get my new knife out. All right. Okay. All right, so this is pretty interesting looking. We got kind of a pattern going here, uh, like a really distressed, I don't know if that'd be sandblaster or not kind of finish on the outside of the blade. We've got this little tape tip. Let's get that off here. Hmm. So this is supposed to be a paper micarta uh, handle as well, which feels super smooth and full, uh, full tang all the way down. Very surprisingly comfortable. The finish is throwing me off. That is not normally what you expect from micarta, but this thing is very comfortable. You got these kind of insets in here big lanyard loop at the end, a little bit of a kind of a pommel edge down there. So probably you would not think this thing would be as comfortable um, as it is. But really, really mean little swoop down the front there. Whew, super razor sharp too out of the box. This says Condor from El Salvador. A little bit of light jumping here on the back, but you kind of have that ridge on the back of the handle that swoops up and then you get into your jumping there. But you know what, I'm gonna say right off, I think this is a big improvement from last month's Crazy Mantis Knives Knife. Um, let's see what our sheath is like here. All right, it may not seem like it, but there's actually a decent amount of tension there. Um, it holds it in just enough. I'm, not, I'm still not sure why they're calling this leather. I don't think there's a trace of leather on that. And that may wear down over time. That may be the cheapest part of the whole thing is this little um, belt connector there, but uh, nice Kydex sheath. You got a place where you can lash it down and everything as well. But, you know, from reading the description, I was bracing myself. I was like, you know what? This probably isn't for me. But this thing is a surprisingly cool little fixed blade. Now, depending on how you use your knives and stuff, this may be more of a collection knife um, than it is like a everyday carry or bushcrafting type thing, just because it is so unique. Man, it's very cool. Uh, very well balanced. Feels great. Um, I'm digging it. Okay. So that was this month's Knife of the Month from Barrel and Blade for June 2023, the Condor Pandor with an MSRP of 151 bucks. The MSRP is so specific, by the way, <laughs> 151.61. That must be like an exact um, match there, but pretty cool little blade worth checking out. Um, like I mentioned, if you want to get the subscription for yourself, you can save yourself some money. Just follow the link on the screen or down in the description. If you're into knives, if you're into getting some cool blades and maybe you have like a group of guys who are constantly like trading gear and that sort of stuff. I promise you, you'll get some awesome knives for a great value that you'll love from this sub and you'll get some stuff that'll be awesome to trade too. Um, it's just a super fun one to get, so I think you'll enjoy it. All right, guys, that is it for this month's unboxing. As always, if you dug the video, be sure to hit the like button because it helps the channel out a ton and subscribe if you wanna see more cool stuff like this. We'll see you next time.